Hello everyone and happy Monday. Seth and I are getting ready to head out and run some errands. But before we go, I wanna share with you guys some things that I got in from Walmart. This video is being sponsored by Walmart. So shout out to Walmart for partnering with me on this portion of this video. Why don't y'all tell me that Walmart had the fashions for the low? Okay, let's just start with this set that I'm wearing. Um, I was not planning on wearing this until later for my hit class, but because it's so cute, I was like, I'm wearing this all day. So this like lime green <laughs> jacket, which I love. It does have thumb holes. We all love that. It has some mesh detailing, but here's the best part. The sports top is like this corset mesh material. Now, when you first look at it, you think, oh, this that's like a top that you would wear out. No, this is a legit sports bra with padding and everything. It just got some mesh detailing. Now, I also got the pants to go with this, but unfortunately, I ordered them in a size large and they are way too big, but I still have them here to show you guys. So what I will say is this stuff runs large because I could probably get these in a small. But look, so cute. And so I'm gonna try to exchange them for a medium or a small, but they were just way, way too big. Otherwise, I would have just put on the entire set. So yeah, but everything else fits great, has pockets, just a super cute little throw on athleisure little set that you can just run errands in. This will be great for my school drop off little wardrobe capsule that I'm building. So yeah, so I got the same top in black. So cute. Now this, I will wear out. Like I would wear this with like a moto jacket or a blazer. That would be cute. Still has that mesh detailing, but super comfortable. The straps are not adjustable, but I find it to be really, really comfortable and very supportive. I wouldn't necessarily run in this because it doesn't give you that much support. However, for like my hit classes and like just for a casual walk or just running errands, this is such a cute top. Like talk about elevating your athleisure wear. Like this is definitely an elevated little set. So I got it in black as well. I also got a pair of jeans. I didn't know Walmart had Levi's, y'all. See, I'm intimidated by going inside of Walmart, but online, it's a whole nother world. You forget you're on Walmart because they have so much good stuff like for the low. So I picked up a pair of jeans. Now, I have not purchased a pair of jeans in years for obvious reasons, but I was like, you know what? I'm on this new fitness journey. I'm gonna get a pair of jeans, see how they work, and then we'll go from there. So these are the Levi Wedgie, Wedgie Straight. They have not that much stretch. They do stretch, but not a whole lot. I got them in a size 29, which is an eight. I was not getting a 10 because we're not doing double digits over here. We are doing single digits and moving it down. So. My goal is to get to, into like a 27, that's my goal, but I'll be happy with a 28. However, I was able to get these on and they do have button, like the fly is a button fly, which is always challenging, not my favorite, but I said, these are gonna be my motivation jeans for my fitness journey. I want to be able to put these on with ease because your girl was struggling, let me tell you. But I got them on and I got them buttoned, so there's that. But I do like them a lot. They have uh, the distressing in the knees. Just, a, again, a great throw on pair of jeans for school pickup and drop off. So these will definitely get plenty of use once I'm able to fit in them comfortably. So I'm hoping by fall, we'll be good. Like mid fall, going into winter, we'll be able to get in these with ease. But yeah, I intentionally got these jeans because I want a pair of jeans that I can use as my motivation for my workouts. So got those and I got them in this light wash, which I thought was really nice, but they also have a darker wash too, but I just got them in a light wash. 
then of course you guys know I can't buy I can't shop without shopping for dresses so I saw this dress on the site and I was like oh my god that is like the cutest summer black dress you guys know I love wearing black in the summer it has nothing to do with hiding my body or anything I just think it looks chic and so I got this one and I'll show you guys pop-ups here but I love the cutout detailing on the side I love the detailing here in the front it fits comfortably it has pockets it's a midi length it's just like the perfect little throw on everyday simple black dress you can dress it up for date night you can dress it down with some little flat slides or some cute little sandals cute little bag and do brunch or lunch it's just the perfect dress i'm i'm sold on walmart now and y'all know me that's saying a lot so I highly suggest checking out the walmart.com site. I'll leave the information link below. I've been wanting one of these visors, especially for the pool days because we spend a lot of time at the pool and I'm usually wearing one of my like ball caps, but I wanted something kind of official. And so I saw this and I was like, okay, I'm getting this. And it's so cute. I'll pop up a picture of me trying it on because I don't want to mess my hair up right now. But I love that it is velcro so you can adjust it to be tight or looser and i just thought this was like a cute little chic mom day at the pool with her kids <laughs> little visor so yeah guys that's what i picked up from walmart.com thank you again to walmart for partnering with me on this video you guys head over to walmart.com i'm telling you they got so much good stuff over there for an affordable price. You can get dresses, you can get jeans, you can get Levi's, you can get athleisure wear for the low low. So head over to walmart.com right now. Yeah, let me know what you guys find. Y'all been gatekeeping? No one ever told me about Walmart fashion. So we're gonna go now and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right. All right, guys, so we have ran most of our errands. So now I am doing a little coffee break. I'm about to run into Starbucks and grab me a coffee. I'm just gonna get an iced coffee. And I'm gonna go to Sephora. But guess what, y'all? Guess what I found? Well, Seth found it. <laughs> and it was exactly where I thought it would be. It was in PJ's other stroller. So I'm so happy that I found my Amicole gloss. But yeah, I still want to go. I still want to go to Sephora and get the other shade. Except in Stan's donut bag. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to run in here, grab me a coffee, iced coffee. And then we're going to head to Sephora. And... I'm probably just gonna pick up a salad from Sweet Green, and so I'm gonna get a salad. I've really been like enjoying a salad, so that's what we're gonna do, and then probably head back home. Yeah, but let's go get this coffee. All right, guys, the next day, it's early afternoon. I worked out this morning, and now we're gonna head to the pool. I'm gonna wear my new visor that I got from Walmart. I'll do a full OOTD, but I'm gonna just go ahead and get this on now. I like my little visor, super cute. So, so now I'm gonna head in the kitchen. I'm gonna just whip up some snacks really quick for the boys. I just do like some turkey and cheese, little roll ups, some little bar snacks, some fruit. So yeah, let's head to the kitchen, get these snacks together, and then I'll show you guys like what I'm wearing.
right guys so we are getting ready to head to the pool thought i would show you guys what i'm wearing new straw visor from walmart and i'm wearing this cover up from cup she i'll try to find it and link it below also bathing suit is cup she as well just really long fluey it's pockets just gonna throw on some slides and then i packed my tote bag with all of our snacks and essentials this is the pool day oo tv love this cover up this is actually my first time wearing it it's so cute so yeah we're gonna head to the pool and i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys we have made it back in i actually stayed at the pool much longer than i anticipated because it wasn't that hot and the sun wasn't really out so we just ended up just hanging out up there longer so yeah we're back i am in my pajamas because i don't plan on going back out also i forgot to come back yesterday and tell you guys that i went to sephora so i picked up just a couple things um, I did get a new Summer Fridays um, Pink Sugar Lip Balm because the last two tubes that I bought are gone. So I got another one. Those, that is a must for me. And then I picked up the uh, Amicole Lip Treatment Oil in the shade Bliss. And this one came recommended by you guys because you saw that I had been using the Smitten and a lot of you were like, you will probably like this one. So I grabbed this and wow, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. So it's kind of like your lips, but better. The other one has a lot more of a pink tint. This is more just like a very natural more neutral which is definitely up my alley so yeah i got this uh, so those are my two new lippies that i got i've been loving my little christian dior pouch i pretty much just put like my everyday makeup stuff in here so i still have been loving the bronzer that I got and this is in the shade golden bronze um, I got asked that the last time I shared it but I've really been enjoying using that still loving the blush and haven't used the mascara anymore just because I don't know I don't know I'm a creature of habit and I just love my YSL so once that's gone I'll probably just start using this just because I have it yeah I just been keeping this out here on the counter and just been doing my makeup that way but these two are going in my bag also I wanted to share with you guys the glowing skin gummies I just used this one. I got a new one that I just purchased when I did my pickup order. I think these have been working because you guys have been complimenting my skin and you guys always compliment my skin, but I've noticed that my skin looks a lot more glowy even when I'm not wearing makeup. And I think it's this. I take two every day and I didn't want to talk about it until I completed this container. And so now that I've completed this entire container, it's safe to say that this is a good one. So it has hyaluronic acid, collagen, and sea buckthorn for hydrated, youthful skin. We love hydration and we love youthfulness. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys because I've really been enjoying that. Just finished my Rituals Multivitamin. Not sponsored at all. <laughs> I just really, really enjoy the Rituals Vitamins. I also did the pre and postnatal vitamins and these are so good. They don't make you sick. You don't have to have a full stomach to take them. I take them every single morning and I really, really, really enjoy this multivitamin. So I just wanted to share that with you guys as well while I was in here. So yeah, that's all I got. I'm going to go ahead and go now. I'll I'll check in with you guys tomorrow all right guys happy Wednesday I am on my way to the gym and I'm just getting all my stuff together I'm super excited because I got something in the mail so I got this little pouch for my water bottle so that I can hold all of my like my phone my keys 
and my AirPods. So now I have a little pouch that attaches to my water bottle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and get my stuff put in it so you guys can see. And they also give you a little straw thing too, which my straw is in the dishwasher. Here's my straw. Let's see how to do this. This is so cute. I hate having to hold all of my stuff in my hands when I'm going up to the gym. Okay. So there it is. Oh my gosh. I hope my phone fits in here. Let's see. So here's my phone. Perfect. Here are my AirPods. Perfect. What else? Oh, my keys. So I don't think my key pouch will fit in here, but really all I need this. So I'm just going to leave the rest of my keys here. And then I'm just going to put this inside. And uh, lip gloss. I'm gonna take this lip gloss. Everything is inside. And now there you go. So I'm gonna fill this up with some water now. Yeah. All right, so. So I got my water and then I also got some white dry erase like chalk markers for the board because I want to do white. I think the white will look better than a black. It would kind of like pop more. So I'm going to redo August in white. So I got those. And yeah, that's all I got in from Amazon. I do have another package that's supposed to be here from Walmart that was part of my Walmart order, but it was delayed. So when I leave the gym, I'm going to go grab that and then I'll show that to you guys. My shoes are at the door and yeah, I'm ready to go. This is so cute. I will leave this linked below as well for you guys because... This is just such a good idea. They have different color ones too, but I just got this like off-white cream color because I felt like it matched better with this cup. So yeah. All right, let's go to the gym. for the day just getting ready to wash my face with this coco kine oil milk cleanser they actually sent it to me they sent it to me a while back but i like it because it has colloidal oatmeal in it and it's really gentle it doesn't give you like a, a foam or anything but it's a really really nice like cleanser so just washing my face i worked out this morning i had a hard-boiled egg on wheat toast and i know that avocado toast is like really popular but i am probably the only person in the world that doesn't eat avocado toast i don't get it it does not sound appetizing to me at all i know it has like benefits as far as like like a healthy fat i just I just can't get into it so I just like toast 
with eggs. I don't need the avocado and all the extra stuff. We're going to be heading out here soon. So I figured I would come in here and just chat a little bit with you guys um, while I got ready and kind of share with you all some of my tips for my fitness journey but also I want to answer some frequently asked questions on my channel related to my fitness journey and how I get things done so I did put a few of the notes on my phone like I said and we're just going to go through them while I get ready really been liking this clean skin club vitamin C and I've been mixing that with the youth to the people facial moisturizer put about that much of the moisturizer and then just a couple drops of the vitamin C rub it in my hand and just kind of spread it over my face let's see the first thing I want to address is I get asked a lot um, about like how I'm able to work out and who keeps my kids and all that. And so I do answer these questions when I get them, but I thought I would just share it here. So my schedule has changed drastically since I've moved to Chicago. My gym is in the building, which I'll touch on that also so that makes it easy for me to do my workouts without the hassle of getting in my car and driving which i've also done successfully during the school year while my nine-year-old is at school i'm just putting this uh vaseline on my lips because <laughs> it's right here which by the way this is my mom hack for small kids keep one of these in your purse or in your car because just trust me when I get to the school drop off and, and your kids face is looking real crusty this will solve the problem so I use that on my boys all the time but anyway during the school year when my nine-year-old is in school I work out while he's in school my baby stays home with his dad I kind of work my workout schedule around his work schedule and so when he's in between classes and he gets a break he comes home to stay with the baby while I go work out and so that's what we do during the school year now during the summer they both just stay home with my son's dad because everyone's home and we kind of tag team um, he usually goes first and then I kind of get the morning started get breakfast and all that stuff done and then I go when he comes back so we tag team a lot during the summer which has worked out great I basically work out around everyone's schedule but I get it done I like to work out in the morning like I said but sometimes I have to work out in the late afternoon my hit class is in the evenings and so you know I'm flexible when it comes to when I can work out as long as I get it done and so the way I look at it is if you can schedule your hair appointment if you can schedule your nail appointment if you can schedule your wax appointment your esthetician appointment your facials and all that you can schedule a gym appointment for yourself that's just how I look at it that's why I put on my calendar gym because I'm scheduling those days for myself now I don't put times on them because it's kind of open to when I'm available but those are appointments that I have to make before the end of the day and so when you look at it like that it holds you accountable and it also lets the people in your household know if you live with multiple people whether it be kids or adults it also lets them know that hey mom has this appointment on the calendar we need to make sure that she gets that done you know and so that's kind of how we work things out around here but again our schedules are not conventional <laughs> schedules I'm home all day my partner has a very flexible schedule as well so it just works out for us I try not to work out on the weekends because I just prefer to work out during the week and get it done and then use my weekends for family time time with the kids date nights date days whatever it may be so I kind of like to leave my weekends open however I am not opposed to working out on the weekends if I have to if I have to shift one of my appointments like during the week 
I'll just say, okay, I'm not working out Thursday, but I'm working out Saturday. Okay, I'm not working out Friday, I'm working out Sunday. So, you know, you just have to really do what works for you and find a schedule that works for you. But set an appointment, set a gym appointment, just like you schedule all your other appointments. The next tip I have is choose or find a workout that you enjoy. Everyone does not like the treadmill. Everyone does not like running on the treadmill. Everyone does not like walking on the treadmill. Everyone does not like the Stairmaster or stair stepper or a bike. I personally hate the Stairmaster. Every time I get on the Stairmaster, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> so I avoid the Stairmaster at all costs. The treadmill has never steered me wrong. I love the treadmill. I don't like walking on the treadmill because that's just super boring to me, but running or jogging on a treadmill, that's me. I don't like the bike. I'm not a Peloton girl, so cycling, that's not my thing. I don't like that. I'm a treadmill, hit, Tabata's, strength training type workout person. Figure out what you enjoy doing. I personally enjoy running on a treadmill. A lot of people can't say that, but I actually enjoy running on a treadmill. I don't like running outside. That's not my thing. Some people love running outside and hate running on the treadmill. So once you figure out what you enjoy, do it to your heart's desire because once you find that workout that you enjoy, it's not going to feel like you're really working out now. You're going to feel like you're working out, obviously, but it's not going to be as mundane and you're not going to dread it and you're not going to be trying to like find excuses to put it off. You're actually going to be motivated and like excited about doing it. Like I'm excited about getting up and running every day. I get excited about my hit class on Mondays every Monday. So once you find your thing, stick to it stay consistent and I promise you you'll be good yeah that's just my little tip about that don't try to do everything that you see everyone else doing because everything is not for everybody and that's okay next tip stay ready so you never have to get ready and that's such a cliche I find that if I wake up and put my workout clothes on I'm more motivated to work out I don't put workout clothes on just for an outfit like I actually like to wear my real clothes so if I'm waking up and I'm putting my workout clothes in on I'm going to work out and then I'm coming back showering getting clean and putting on real clothes for the remainder of the day I very rarely wear workout clothes all day long because that's just not me I like to wear dresses I like to put on clothes and make myself look put together for the day now, there are some rare, rare occasions where I will put on my workout clothes in the morning and run errands, go to the grocery store, drop my kid off, and then come back home and work out. But very rarely do I work out and then go out and run errands and do stuff. I just don't do that. I like to freshen up and put myself together first. So staying ready so you don't have to get ready always, always worked for me. Right, this next tip is probably the most important tip for me have a fire playlist I mean I cannot stress this enough a playlist will get you through your workout with such ease some of you guys may be like this as well I should be getting ready like this is crazy I've been standing here talking to y'all this time okay I've been I put on my moisturizer I need to see that's why I can't do like chit chat get ready with me it's because yeah all right so I'm about to put on my sunscreen. Having a good playlist is so essential because I need like upbeat, like trap type music for my workouts. That's the only way I can survive my workouts <laughs> is with my playlist. If I don't have music, I'm no good. It's like torture. So I highly suggest getting a playlist, a good playlist. I don't know how people watch videos and watch shows while they're running. I can't do that. If I'm walking, I can, but running, I can't do it. So get you a good playlist. Moving on to some of my diet goals. My goal is to lose a pound a week. And so in order for me to achieve that, I had to reduce my calories also cut out most meat I'm either doing fish and veggies like tuna salad things like that 
but not really doing a lot of like turkey and um, I don't do beef. I probably eat beef like twice a year to be honest. So that has really helped me and I don't eat pork at all. Cutting out meat has never been an issue for me. I cut out meat for like six months to my last fitness journey. So that's never been challenging for me to do. Also, all of my makeup will be linked below as well for you guys. But yeah, reducing my calories has really been my focus this time around. Also eliminating sugars and carbs, which that's like a no brainer for me because my body does not like carbs or sugar. However, I love carbs and sugar. Having to give up like bread and you know, different sweets, especially this month because of my boys' birthdays and all of the festivities that we've been partaking in. It has been a challenge, but I'm doing it. So yeah, I've just been making some minor changes to my diet. I don't really eat a lot of sugar on a regular, like I said, we've just been indulging this month. But in my coffees, I don't do sugar. I do sugar-free sweetener. My creamers are very low-cal. I don't eat a lot of like sweet treats at all at home. Um, if I'm craving something sweet, I'll just eat fruit. Or I'll eat like some like, low-cal yogurt. Or I have these like little snack bars that I have. But as far as like keeping like cookies and things like that in the house, I just don't. Also, I know people have a hard time when you have small kids, you know, you have all that junk in the house. Fortunately, my kids don't really eat like that. And that's intentional. Like kids only eat what you provide. So if I don't bring that stuff in the house, they don't eat it. And then the little snacks and treats that they like, I don't like. Like a lot of the stuff that my oldest son loves, I don't like. Like I'm not an Oreo eater. He loves Oreos. Um, he loves Lay's potato chips. I don't eat potato chips. So things like that, it makes it easy for me because the things that he likes to snack on, I don't like. I am more of like a popcorn snacker. Like I can eat popcorn 24 seven with no problem, but my oldest son does not eat popcorn. He doesn't like popcorn at all. Uh, he used to uh, when he was younger, but now he does not eat popcorn. So when we go to the movies, which we are going to the movies to see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles today, actually, uh, we bring he brings chips or we'll stop at the store and get him a bag of chips. And that's what he, that's his like snack for the movies because he doesn't like popcorn so um something else i would suggest if you don't like water get a good water bottle my simple modern water bottle has been a game changer i fill that thing up at least three times a day i definitely fill it up first thing in the morning right before i get my day started i fill it up in the afternoon and I always fill it up at night after I eat because I do intermittent fasting and so my first meal is usually at 12. Um, my morning starts at 6 a.m. and so by noon that's when I'm ready to like eat. So what I will do is I will drink water <laughs> during that time just to stay full and then I stop at 7. And so after seven o'clock, I'm just drinking water until I go to bed. So that's been working out great for me and I stay full and I'm getting my water in. So get a good water bottle. Plus the Simple Modern water bottles, not only keep your stuff cold for 24 hours, but it also, it's cute and chic so get you a cute water bottle i do have starbucks like tumblers too that i like but right now i'm just on this simple simple modern um water <laughs> bottle kick and i'm not mad at it so yeah get you a cute water bottle girl 
I know you probably hear people say it, but it's all true. Get you a nice little water bottle. And trust me, you will be drinking water like crazy. Okay, yeah, I touched on the intermittent fasting because some people had asked me, like, when do I start and when do I stop? So, um, I wake up at 6 a.m. My first meal is at noon. And I have my last meal around 6. So, I start cooking dinner around 5, 5.30. And most of our meals are quick. And so, I'll eat at around 6.30 and then i'll have like a little treat and then at night if i'm not drinking water i'll have like some tea which it's okay to have tea when you're intermittent fasting because i usually just add a little bit of honey to my tea and that's it but lately i haven't been having tea just because i haven't been in a mood and it's honestly just been too hot to drink tea so just water eating more fiber has definitely been a game changer for me because yeah if you know you know <laughs> going to the bathroom is essential it's increase your fiber and those are just some of the things that I've been doing as I'm in my second week of this journey I will be obviously like tweaking some things along the way but for now that's kind of like my structured little goal that I got now and it's simple and it works for me and so like I said my goal is a pound a week and so that's kind of how I've kind of built my little routine around that goal also I know this is not everyone's thing but I have gone back to weighing myself because that holds me accountable as well now i know some people are against that they don't like the scale they like to go off based off of what their clothes look like on them or feel like and that's fine that just does not work for me i need to see the numbers i'm triggered by the number and so that number puts me in check just like when you go to your doctor what's the first thing they do when you walk in there put you on that scale because <laughs> Your doctor needs to know what your weight is so that he can assess things and properly diagnose you for whatever issues you may be having. If you have health issues or problems, you have your own set of rules and goals that you are tackling. So I'm not speaking to those who are having like health issues. I'm speaking to those who have realized that they have been on this hamster wheel and cannot get off and sometimes you just need to kick yourself in the butt and say all right let's do it because you already know what you need to do especially if you are someone who's been fit before you know what you need to do and a lot of the time it's just being lazy and that's like what i was saying in my last vlog like don't settle for a body that you're not happy in because we're now in this culture of loving the, the body that you're in, loving the skin that you're in. I'm all for that, but if you're not really happy with it and you just subscribe into that just because that's like the wave right now, don't do that. Don't let that be an excuse for you to just stay, you know, in that body just because everyone around you is saying, oh, you look good, da da da, da. If you don't feel good, that don't matter. What other people are saying doesn't even matter. You have to really feel good yourself. Like, and I don't feel good. I don't feel good being at this weight. I've said it already to you guys. Seeing certain parts of my body does not make me feel good. You know, like little rolls here and there. I don't like that. Some people might like that. I don't like that. I like for my body to be proportioned in, in a way that feels and looks good to me and so that's what my motivation is it is not what people are saying because to be honest plenty of you guys have told me i look fine i don't need to lose no weight but i know deep down i do <laughs> so if i let the internet or even people in my life convince me that the body that i'm in is good enough when I know it's not, 
I'll never reach my goal because I'll just be accepting what people project. A lot of times people are projecting onto you and they're usually not where they want to be. And so they want you to stay stagnant. And we're not doing that. You got to find your own path, do your own thing. But I'm not here to preach to y'all. I'm just saying <laughs> what I'm doing. And I'm not letting people convince me that the body that I'm in, whether I just had a baby or not, is good enough. Not my man, not my mom. No one is going to convince me of that because I'm like, mm -mm, no, I don't feel that. So whatever y'all saying, thank you. I appreciate it. But I know, I know where I want to be and where I need to be. So y'all going to have to like that body too. Because <laughs> this body I'm in right now is not it. I you know, just know what I need to do to get where I want to be. So that's what I'm doing. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to happen overnight. But I'm going to put the work in to make it happen. And then that's going to be that. Y'all going to be right here with me on this journey. Because a few of you guys said that you guys are going to start your weight loss journeys as well. So let's do it. Let's, let's all get fit together. If it means getting a gym membership, get a gym membership I had to do it I talk about this in some of my old videos but a lot of the time your company that you work for will reimburse you I know the company I worked for reimbursed me up to 85% of my gym and training fees and so that helped me out a lot my gym also had child care and so that helped me out a lot so if you are a single mom because I've been there too being a single mom trying to stay fit trying to hit your goals find you a gym with a reliable safe child care center that you trust and sign up there so getting a gym membership holds you accountable too because when they start taking that money out that wakes you up it's like oh yeah that's right unless you have an endless supply of money and that doesn't matter to you <laughs> that was not my case I saw that money coming out every month and I was like even though it was a small amount and I wasn't paying a full amount but that small amount I still saw it and so having a gym membership does hold you accountable in that way too especially when you have a trainer because those trainer fees are really expensive and so I say all that to say that even though I have a gym in my building and I know I say it's convenient it really is not always convenient because I'm not paying for that gym granted it's included in our <laughs> monthly <laughs> rent <laughs> somewhere but it's not itemized so we don't see it as a gym fee but it is built in and so because I don't have that kind of hanging over me that kind of has held me back too because you would think like man you got a gym right in the building with you why aren't you going it is not that easy I don't know if you guys are like me but I need like real accountability I need money being withdrawn or a person holding me accountable when it comes to my fitness so having a trainer even having the trainer on Mondays like getting that alert that is reminding you that you have a class the next day getting that alert saying that you need to go ahead and sign up for the class for the next week all those are things that I feel are what hold me accountable and that's why I keep showing up every week it's because I'm getting these reminders also the trainer follows me on Instagram <laughs> We follow each other. And so she taps in to me on Instagram too. And so those are my little tips. I'm sure I missed something, but I hope whatever I shared is somewhat helpful to you guys out there that are struggling, trying to figure out how to make it work. You want to do it, but you just don't know if you have the time. There is time. There is time. There is always time. Like I said in the beginning, if you got time to schedule everything else, you can schedule your gym appointment even if it's for 30 minutes it's really not hard it's just motivating yourself to do it and staying consistent that's the part that's hard but once you get a rhythm going and once you get a routine down and once you start getting in your zone no one can take that away from you like there was no way I'm missing a workout 
There's no way. No one is going to stop me from getting a workout in. Even if I got to go in my living room and put on a Heather Roberts video, I'm going to get my workout in for the day. So yeah, guys, I really hope that this was somewhat helpful for you guys. Let me know if you have any more tips for me because, like I said, a lot of you did give me a lot of good tips that I will be implementing. Um, I am making some changes to my vitamins and supplements as well. So I'll share that stuff with you guys as I start to like take those and see how they're working. I don't want to share anything too soon. I want to kind of try everything out first. But I will be making those changes too because I am at the age where I have to start taking my vitamins and supplements a little bit more seriously. Uh, being in my 40s, I'm 41 if you guys didn't know. And so yeah, being 40 and trying to be on a fitness journey hits different. And that's not an excuse because there are some 50 and 60 year old women out here killing it. I have no excuse. So I'm not even gonna use my age in it as an excuse, but there are some things that I just have to adjust <laughs> in my 40s, you know, make things work for my benefit. So I will be sharing that stuff with you guys too, but yeah, I'm just ready to start seeing the results, start sharing the results with you guys. Um, I hope you guys are motivated as well to kickstart your weight loss journey, fitness journey, lifestyle journey, because it's definitely a lifestyle for me. I have small kids and I do want to be around, you know, that is the major factor for me. Yeah, the vanity part, it, it, it yes, that's part of it too. But when I look at my babies, I can't imagine life without seeing them growing up. You know what I mean? And so I want to be around. I want to be healthy. I want to continue to run around and play with them and do things with them and be active with them because I have boys. And so there are lots of sports <laughs> involved and I'm only at the beginning. And so I just want to be fit for my family as well as for myself. That's all I got. I don't want to seem like I'm preaching to you guys, but I've been there and I know what a lot of you are experiencing. I've experienced it as well, but just know that you can get through it. You just got to get started. You just got to start. You just got to wake up and be like, today is the day and just do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below if you all have any tips for me or chime in to some of the people in the comments as well because a lot of people ask questions down there. So if you guys see a comment that you feel that you could help that person, just leave them a comment and you know give them some encouraging words because sometimes that's all you need. You just need a little bit of encouragement. So I'm gonna get out of here so that I can spend the day with my family and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.